What's up, you two? This is your Alpha Trader coming guys tonight. I hope you have a nice day on the market. We have another day that, you know, presents some opportunities out there. Like I said, you guys always, you know, try to be mindful of your trades. Try to respect your trend, understand the price action. Try to respect your levels. And that way, you guys are going to be able to make some money, right? Today, it was kind of like a little roller coaster on the market. And, you know, we kind of like visualized it. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But, you know, based on the previous price action and based on our levels, right, understanding, you know, how the market is performing based on the news. You know, if you guys remember, you know, when I talked on the video on Sunday, I told you guys that Tuesday and Wednesday was going to be a little slow. Because one, you know, we do have economical data uh, important on Thursday, tomorrow. And, you know, there was not much thing going on on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it was probably going to be low ball, which is pretty much what we did, right? Tonight, uh, for those that do not know, the debt ceiling, it got approved. <clears throat> or it passed to the, um, the house. The house passes the limit deal of stock market rates to our default. So it was passed. But the thing is, how the market is going to react to this news, right? Some say it might be a sell uh, sell the news, right? We can just drop off. But also, you know, some people can say it could be positive to the market. But we don't know that, right? So we're going to have to assess this, uh, you know, from a technical standpoint, you know, obviously look look both the scenarios and plan ahead, right? And think what might be the bullish and the better this night, right? As far as today... And there, you know, we that we also have AI report earnings. You know, a lot of hype was going about AI. So I'm going to talk about, you know, at the end of the video about, you know, what happened to AI and then what we can expect for, you know, certain stocks and a few swings that I have prepared for you guys, right? So let's start with SPY. You know, SPY, well, just to remind you guys that tomorrow we do have jobless report at a 30, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. We have, uh, let me see, I'm just going to double check because I want to lie to you guys, but we do have, um, at 8.30, we have the jobless report. We have ISM at 10 in, 10 in the morning. And we have AI Petroleum Start Report at 11. So it's going to be a BC morning, right? So I believe this is why it's going to be very volatile, in my opinion. We have some reports. Now we don't, Now we have AI earnings out, right, which is going to probably going to affect the media, you know, AMD, which is, you know, all the stocks that are related to AI, right? And we also now we have the, uh, the dev ceiling news. So we have several things happening tomorrow. So tomorrow... You gotta be ready because I mean the volatility creates opportunities, but we need to be ready to execute them based on our levels, right? So spy today, for example, we were down trending right on pre-market. You know, we got down, we had a little gap down right there. You can see we were below the 20 man, the you know, 60 man all open market. So market opening, we have a little pop, a little volatility, right? And what I about teach you guys always. Look for confirmation, right? You know, can they close your levels? Can they close your indicators, right? So you, there were two ways to play this. You know, in the morning, you either took a position once we broke, you know, pretty much pre market support, you know, the 418, right? As is for the scalp our support, which it was, which it was 417.65, or you know, you can have to took the confirmation below the support line, below it at 417.29. And then ride a trend towards 416, right? Obviously, you always check the bottom bar. You see how the you know the selling pressure was increasing, moving downwards. So always check that. And then you know we had a little consolidation and the market rally, not rally, but you know it did had a bounce later in the day, right? You know, again, this was I believe this was a roller coaster. You know there was a ups and downs. So you know someone could have made that. As far as where we close, you know we did close at 418.40, right? We did close above our resistance level and also you can see how the 200 may it hold it up right so that trend line is it's a strong but the 200 may is very strong right but we still are you can see that you know the EMS are kind of flat so that tells me that the market itself doesn't that hasn't picked a direction yet right we see some bottom you know some bars that step in right they definitely step in but the question is going to be how far, you know, how far are they going to willing to go? If we also tomorrow, if the market decides to go green, right? The market likes the news, right? We And then we will have to, number one, hold above that support, you know, hold above that 417.65, right? And that will allow us to probably push the 420s, right? And then probably retest 421s, 
But if tomorrow we do break that 417 and we open below that, then you have to be ready because we might test, you know, 416s or maybe 413s. Because oh, remember, our support is a 413.19, right? So we have, a, you know, quite the range to drop if the market decides to wash, right? So again, all, all, all the situation, things that happen in the market, you know, AI, debt selling, economic reports, if the market picks one direction, I believe that direction is going to be strong. And it probably, you know, the, the volume, if it's a selling being pressure or the buying pressure, is going to follow follow up with that direction during the day, right? Uh, Tesla, it did great. Uh, you know, honestly, like I would say, yes, Tesla is just, it's, it's the own beast. You know, it does respect levels, but something that's in the league, you know, Tesla doesn't really care sometimes about, you know, what the market overall is doing. But Tesla did have a little pop, you know, you can see it had a pop, you know, stay between the range, kind of broke down a little bit in the morning, right? You know, some kind of, some scalps you call him with me there. But overall, I like Tesla when it's about $200. When it's about 200, when it's about 200, right? I always, you know, be bullish on Tesla. You know, that's, that's a very strong cycle, like a level. So Tesla spike up out of the average, right? And that's kind of, that's quite interesting, right? Uh, I, like I said, that seems, it seems kind of weird, you know, that why you just spike out from down to two or three, almost a $4 spike. I haven't seen any news, but uh, the question is going to be like, what's going to do tomorrow? You know, Tesla, if we look on, you know, the daily chart, let me tell you guys, you know, the fact that we are kind of like trading above the 200, you may, and we are still, you know, close, you know, what a 200, that makes me believe that we're, you know, we can be at the doors of, an, of a rally or probably a push up to Tesla, right? So if we do that, in, if we actually break that 203.44, right, and we are able to push it up, um, But I was saying, I believe that Tesla will uh, will continue rallying if the buyers are still present, right? You know, the volume is still there, even though, you know, we can see the volume is still increasing. So keep an eye on Tesla again, you know, we we crack that two or three and we hold up over, you know, I, I can see Tesla easily tapping to 10s to 15s in the short term, right? So that's something. Now, NVIDIA, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys, I believe we already, you know, we tapped that. 419 and since then we saw off we filled that the first gap that we already had but still we now we do have a bigger gap right that was a big big gap that was trying for earnings so you gotta keep an eye on this because we you know for 419 to 378 we might have a couple of days uh that's a lot right uh the fact that we are uh, now that we had ai selling off that can you know you know come to affect this stocks, right? Because in the media, you know, AMD, all those are, uh, you know, kind of related to this. And that's AS pretty much the main reason why this stock, you know, spike up, you know, uh, by started. So the fact that now they sell off, they can actually, you know, affect this stock as well. So, but again, you have to look the levels, you know, what do we have? So for, for NVIDIA to really fill the gap and kind of like push down, we, we will have to break at 366.07. If it breaks at 366, then you have to be ready because that can, you know, that gas fill or so what a partial uh, gas fill can happen, right? So that's that's another that's an option. That's in a scenario you can also bounce as well, right? It's all gonna depend on you know how the pressure is gonna be developing, right? And you know how the day is going. But we can also we can see on different frames, at least in the four hour, how the sellers are stocking up, you know, the sellers are strong now. And little by little, you know, it's just trending now, right? So let's see what it does. Let's see what we're going to do tomorrow, right? But I want to mainly tell you what happened to AI. So this is AI right here. And let's see what they have, you know, the report. You can see how the, some people think that, you know, there was a hype, right? That's, that's one thing I want to talk about, hype. When things are a lot of hype, yes, they do have run-ups. But, you know, remember, nothing is going to run forever, right? So you have to look out of the box. So you don't have to let the hype make the decision for you. A lot of people, which I know, a lot of people gamble their earnings. The thought that is going to do the same thing that Nvidia did because you know, oh, it's 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 a uh, AI. But you have to understand, a lot of times, you know, these runoffs are priced in. Uh, AI, I believe, it was already priced in with previous run. So 
I'm not surprised really that, you know, we pull back, right? If it, when everybody tells you, oh yeah, it's gonna go, or you see everybody talking about, oh, it's gonna go, then you have to start thinking, what if they're wrong, right? What if they're actually wrong? What if, you know, the direction is, you know, uh, it's gonna be, you know, the, the, you know, the, the contrary of them. So the reason why I say this, because like, again, if you got a thing, you know, AI rally almost $20, more than that in a couple of days, right? So for AI really like to away, like go over, like we'll, we'll go over like the 50, $60, it would have to be like a huge beat. I mean, they did beat earnings, right? But it was it was like an all right earnings report, right? It was not a big thing. So like I said, God, the, the hype, it cooled down, which is normal, right? A lot of things when, you know, come to the, to the market, they have, they get hot for like a couple of days and then they cool down. So this is the same scenario with AI. You know, it was it, it did great, right? Last week it did kind of like great in a couple couple of days, and that's it. Everything needs to cool down, right? The RSI was super high. You know, you, if you look technicals, you know, we did have the RSI at the 85, right? A lot of these small frames they were way more high, like 86, right? 87. So let's see what is gonna do tomorrow. But I believe that how is sell off? I believe that what's gonna happen now, uh, the panic selling is gonna come. When panic selling comes, then it's, it's easily for AI to drop more. So currently we are at what is we close? We close at thirty one point fourteen. So the thirty level is really a strong signal, like a level, right? We look at a forever, it's uh, it's being consolidating for a while on that level. So the fact that we break thirty, we also gonna be breaking the sixty mate. Uh, that opens the doors for AI drop to twenty four twenty five dollars, right? There is a gap as well. You look at the daily, there is a gap. The gap is out of the field pretty much because we it was from 35 to 34. So we are really open on that. Even on the daily, that 29, that 30 area is going to be critical because that 20 minutes is going to be there. What is going to happen as well is as this AI is going to reflect them small stocks and penny stocks. You know, a lot of penny stocks that are, you know, related to AI, they are going to suffer the this uh this sell-off. So you're probably going to see a lot of these penny stocks, you know, GFAI, you know, SOUN, uh, IDI, you know, CXI, all these penny stocks that, you know, they had AI in the name and they were related somehow to AI, they're going to sell apart, right? Well, usually when mid caps or large caps sell off, you know, penny stocks take a bigger hit, right? But now if you are long-term with some of them, then, you know, this could be an opportunity to buy, right? But if this is only if you are a long-term investor. If you understand that you're going to hold for like five, 10 years, you know, companies like AI, that might be my worth, you know, buying the bit. But if you're not thinking it that way, definitely I would recommend at least, you know, stay away for now. You know, let the market settle, let the market, you know, uh, digest all this news and you know, all this report, all the hype, cool down, you know, let the market digest all these things going on and then be smart and, you know, decide what to do. You know, remember, this is this was a short week. So for a short week, there are a lot of things happening right now. So the best thing will be to wait, right? And if you... You know, say smart money always, you know, gonna beat, you know, the money. So you really wanna be, like I said, you wanna be smart and, you know, show, let the market show itself in the true direction of where it's gonna go, right? Now, as far as swings, you know, what we have, you know, we do have a couple of things, you know, we've seen that BLD, you know, like you guys, we talked about this one before, BLD is doing great. You know, today we tap 192. We actually tap 197 at some point in the day, right? So we're gonna tell you guys that that support, it was critical. You know, that's one of the main supports that we have, right? That one uh, 68 support, it was very bounced. That was a great accumulation sign. Now we bounced, and now we are seeing closing above the uh, the 20. Minute. We're still breaking up, but we really want to look for the $2 break. If we break the $2, then that's something mean, That's something that, that will be important for BLD, and probably we, we're going to uh, retest that 210. Or maybe if we break that, we can actually, you know, rally to $3. So keep an eye on that. That's something that I still has my eyes, right? As well, what we have, we do have a uh, beery. You know, I I remember talking about this stock like way a while ago when it's like thirty cents, right? Remember that? That I mean, so some of you are still with that are with me from you know for a while. Who remember that I mentioned this stock on the thirty cents? And you know, the reason I like it is because you know it was way oversaw and it has those huge gaps, right? That you know, surprisingly, after almost a month. From the 30 cents is almost a 170 again, which is almost filling the gap, right? But what do I like? What do I like 
I like this because it is just looking so pretty, right? The weekly and the daily chart are look they look better, looking better bullish, right? They're curling up, right? So what I'm really looking on Barry is if we actually get to break the two dollar, that can actually be a really good trade. You know, it can open up. Now this is a swing stock. You know, you you hold this for a while. You know, it took a month, probably more than yeah, I think it was more than a month to really do on a thirty cents because you know this is this was for March. To where we are right now, but did it work? It? You know, a month to one hole, almost a 300% return. It actually worked, but it all depends on everybody's risk management and you know, like the um the, the risk tolerance that you guys have. Now the potential is there. I definitely say I definitely like it, but I'm actually gonna be watching this. You know, if we actually break 191, that's gonna be very interesting. On the daily, we are really close about the 200 level, so that's very bullish. You know, and we are still looking that small gap to fill. You know, that the little gap to fill is gonna be to 191. So once we fill the gap, either we're gonna reject it or we're gonna break out higher, way, way higher. So that's something to watch. Remember, nothing of this is financial advice. You know, this is just my ideas, my thoughts, right? I'm not telling you to buy and sell anything. I'm just, just putting this out there because I believe they do present really good opportunities on the short and long term as well. So. Keep an eye on that. Again, just go, always please go make your DD as well. You know, understand the charts, you know, check the levels in. So then you guys will we'll, we'll see what I'm seeing, understand, you know, why am I picking this stock, right? And another one that I like to point out is that MBLA, it did great today. It had a nice pre uh, after hours move. You know, it was consolidated with 215 and it spiked up to 265. Again, don't always, always, always please take profits, you know, secure some profits. When you see those spikes, Man, don't be greedy, you know, take some money out of the table. And then the rest, if you are in a good average, you know, hold it and see what's going to do the next day. But you always want to secure profits, right? The data is still looking good, but we definitely want to see that breakout. You know, we can see that keep tapping that, that 60 million, you know, that uh, 242, but it's not able to break out. So I'm going to keep watching on this because I see some bothering me. It's still present, right? But if we actually, you know, be able to break that and hold above, then can actually, you know, perform pretty good, right? And remember, I tell you guys, the 200 may act like a big magnet. So we can actually see a huge, you know, speak up towards the 200 may, right? So that's one. And to close the video, again, guys, uh, I one that I'm actually looking up before a swing as well is PDSB. I like this one because number one, you know, based on the technicals, they are, uh, the daily looks very good. Right, you know, we close about it 200, you know, the 200 mate, as you can see, in front of sevens, if that was the first candle closing about the 200 mate, we are now 980, and he's been having decent increase in volume, right? The outer size is 72.30, which is good. I'm just probably waiting for a pullback. I would love to see a pullback towards the $8, right? Or maybe maybe a little less, like 850s, that would be great pullback. But if not, what I'm gonna be looking, especially when I look in the stock, is gonna be that 10 11 break. If we get that 10 11 break, you know, we can easily, you know, tap to 11, maybe $12, $13. So I'm going to be watching that, right? If you look at the news, you know, they be up, they have all perform recommendations, right? So that, you know, they it do, it does have, you know, reiterating uh, buyer recommendations, which is great. Uh, it, it does have a 24 per share uh, before, you know, by this Oppenheimer uh, company. So, you know, it does have potential, right? But it's just about, you know, we have how... How uh you know where we are willing to hold this, right? If you look on the weekly chart, we do have a three watt solid pattern on the weekly, so that's a strong pattern on the weekly chart, right? So that's is why I also like it because when you zoom out, right, when you see these things, you know you like to see that. You see previously when we when we you know we regained the bottom, right? The buying pressure when it spike up from almost like the same level to almost thirteen dollars. So we can do the same thing over again, especially now that we do have that you know that pattern percent on this stock. Right, yes. So I think that's a quick update. Again, you have any questions, don't forget to let me know. Type in the chat, DM me, and then a comment on the, on, on the video. Right, I'm going to do my best to reach out to you guys as well. But other than that, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We got more coming to the videos, to the channels as well. You know, I hope you guys like these updates and, uh, you know, new uh, you know, watches that I give you guys. Don't forget to also check the link in the description if you want to join the Alpha community. That's why I share my trades 24 7 on my guidance, right? And other than that, like I, said, I hope you guys have a nice night and be ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be crazy. All right, guys. Take care. Bye, guys.
I'm a shot, guys. This is what I'm trying to get my ears today. We you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself, you need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the African community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.